Carving is an art. Department of Oral Pathology presents carving of permanent maxillary central incisor. Armamentarium used here are wax block, lecran carver, ruler with millimeter marking, cotton or a piece of soft silk cloth. Grasp used here is modified pen grasp. Now divide the wax block into two equal half that is midline is drawn on all surface of the wax block as shown in this video. Wax block is divided into three parts. First crown portion is marked which is 10.5 mm. Then root portion is marked. Anatomically it measures 13 mm but extra 1 mm is marked to avoid reduced root size after finishing and polishing. The remaining portion is considered as base. Now mark the surfaces. First labial surface is marked. Behind labial surface palatal surface is marked. Breast two sides are marked as mesial and distal which are opposite to each other. Now divide the crown portion into three equal parts on all the four sides. Upper cervical, middle and lower incisal portions are obtained. Labial and palatal surface has trapezoidal form. Longer diameter towards incisal and shorter diameter towards cervical portion. Mark it accordingly. Next, mesial and distal sides are marked as shown in the image. It has triangular form. Apex faces incisally, base faces cervically. Towards palatal side, cingulum part is bulky and incisally lingual fossa should be thinner. Hence, mark a yes shape on the wax block as shown in the video. Use lecron carver and carve the wax block according to the outline marked. Begin with proximal side. Shape the wax according to the outline drawn using the lecron carver. Labial surface should be convex. So carve accordingly. S shape marking should be refined. Now begin carving on palatal side. Maintain bulkiness of cingulum which is the most important anatomical feature as shown in the video. On palatal surface, lingual fossa should be concave and cingulum should be convex. Hence palatal surface appears concave or convex. Achieve the shape as marked before. Again mark trapezoid shape on the labial and palatal side with a longer diameter facing incisally. Carve the wax block to the shape marked. Now refine all the four sides. Natural tooth size should be obtained. So reduce accordingly. Reduce labially and convexity is maintained as shown in the video. While reducing the size of palatal aspect, remember not to reduce the bulkiness of cingulum and maintain thinner lingual fossa. Using lecron carver, mark the fossa. On either side of fossa, you will get elevated part which are mesial and distal marginal ridges respectively. Developmental grooves are drawn in lingual fossa. Generally, cervical part should be narrower than incisal part. From labial surface towards palatally, convergence should be given. This is called lingual convergence. To obtain lingual convergence, place the carver tip slantingly and begin carving from labial surface. As heading towards palatal surface, obtain convergence cervically around the cingulum as shown in the video. Permanent maxillary central incisor has conical root form. So mark outline in the palatal and labial aspect as shown in the video and begin carving to obtain the marked shape.
After reducing sufficient wax on both the sides, mark outline on the mesial and distal aspect as shown in the video. Then reduce accordingly to the outline. To obtain conical root form, round and the sharp edges. From cervical to apical portion of the root, the root should be narrow at the apex. So carve accordingly. Similar to the crown, while carving on lingual aspect, give lingual convergence. Finish by rounding the carved root. Cervical line on the labial side faces apically. So carve a semicircular downward form towards incisal side as shown in the video. Mark cervical line on the mesial side as shown in the video. It should be more pronounced than distal side. Similarly mark palatal and distal cervical lines as shown in the video. Carve it accordingly. Finishing and polishing is initiated. Cervical line is refined. On palatal aspect to highlight the lingual fossa, place spoon side end of the carver and refine it. Round in all the sharp angles. Mesio incisal angle should be sharp and distal incisal angle should be rounded. Refine all the surfaces. Mesio incisal angle should be sharp and distal incisal angle should be rounded. All the views are shown here. Thank you.